What we need is a sensible debt restructure. The reason why I lament the fact that Macron, Sanchez, Mitsotakis and the rest gave up on the Eurobond, and I insist that they did give up on it, and that they insist that what they agreed to do to fund the European Commission uh, is not at all the equivalent of the Eurobond. The reason why I lament that is twofold. Firstly, by not having a Eurobond that restructures, that it shifts it effectively from the level of the nation state to the European level, therefore shrinking the total amount of debt, not just adding debt to debt. By not doing that, they have ensured two things. Firstly, that next year, the budget deficit of Italy, of Greece, of Spain, will be more than 10% of GDP, which means that in two years' time, Berlin will insist on greater austerity, right, right in the countries that need to be recovering faster in order to ameliorate for what is happening. And the second reason why I'm lamenting the end of the Eurobond, and I think definitely this is something that Jean-Claude and Anne should ag would agree, I pr predict, is that by not having a safe asset in Europe, by not having a common debt instrument yeah. right, in Europe, the Euro will never become a, com a competitor to the exorbitant power of the dollar, and therefore Europe will never be able to play the role that it should play, its internationalist role, in favor of Africa, in favor of Asia. Europe is making the same category error today as it made in 2010. Wishful thinking is no substitute for proper policy. And I have no evidence, I see nothing coming from the European Council meetings, from the Eurogroup meetings, uh, giving me any ray of hope that this time they will get it right and they will not indulge in another perpetual fraudulent concealment of sequential bankruptcies. The European Central Bank, could it have more teeth coming out of this crisis as opposed to the national central banks with all, which often undermine its ability to, uh, to go further? Well, I think the European Central Bank, uh, again, did a lot uh, to uh, protect all Europe all at least the euro area against the, the, the crisis. And uh, uh, all what has been done until now seems to me uh, exactly appropriate. And more might come. That depends very much on the uh, uh, unfolding of this crisis, which is still unfolding under our eyes. Second, on, on the dollar. Again, uh, I agree with Yanis. If we had a political federation like the United States, we would be in a totally different world. The euro bonds would be natural because we would be a political federation. And it goes without saying that the euro would have a totally different place in the world because we would be a political federation. So I'm calling for a political federation. But it needs, of course, the agreement of all the people of Europe. And as you know, we are not yet mature, it looks like. But uh, nothing prevents us from calling for steps in favor of political federation. 